Looks gon' kill, light blue teal Heart can't feel, loves rock and roll But ain't got no soul, it can't pay no bills And it's all downhill from here, all downhill from here For real, for real, and it's all downhill from here All downhill from here, for real, for real Looks gon' kill, light blue teal Heart can't feel, loves rock and roll But ain't got no soul, it can't pay no bills and it's all Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel So today I'm gonna show you guys how to pack a diaper bag it seems a lot more obvious and easy than it actually is, but if you want to avoid ever forgetting anything, then I would suggest that you watch this video because this is my second time around. I've packed a lot of diaper bags in my 22 years of living, okay? <laughs> so, I have Blake over here with me hanging out with us, um, so he's going to assist me. I always have a diaper bag packed. Just because emergencies, you're going somewhere and you're just really in a rush, you don't have time to pack a diaper bag specifically for what you're doing. So I always have this diaper bag packed up. It's just really convenient to just always have a little bag packed so you never have to worry about it. When you are packing a diaper bag for something specific, you know, different, what you need really depends on what you're doing, where you're going, how long you'll be gone. So this is kind of just like a basic diaper bag if you're just going out to be somewhere for like a few hours, even maybe just for like the day. This is just everything that would be helpful. Not for like a trip, you need way more than this. So this is my diaper bag that I use. I just started using it. This is by Dagny Dover. And I love this brand of bag so much. They have like a whole bunch of different types of bags, not just diaper bags. I think they're I think diaper bags is kind of a new thing that they've been doing but this bag is just genius I love it so much they have like 20 different colors of this that you can choose from maybe not that many but they have a lot it's like a backpack which I really like because I can use it Taylor can use it you know we all anyone would feel comfortable like using this it's not like a purse you don't have to have it on your shoulder it's just a lot more comfortable and a little more universal they really just thought of everything when they made this bag in the back it has like this space so you can put it on top of your luggage for when you're traveling there's a lot of different pockets they even come with these that you use to attach to your stroller so they can hang off of your stroller there's these little pockets in the front we have these little pockets on the side this on the side and it actually so it's shaped like this but it actually or wait no that's not right oh yeah it's actually supposed to close on the sides I guess to just be a little more compact I guess so yeah which is a really cute design you can wear it like either way I guess but um, when you go inside there's also just a lot of different compartments um, there's even like a little pacifier or pacifier or key holder. I feel like you can use it for either one. Um, there's even a little pocket for a bottle. There's a million different pockets in here, but it's also really spacious. And it actually also comes with this changing pad, which I guess might as well just be the first thing that you should always have with you in a diaper bag, just for you know when you're out. Not all restaurants and places have like changing tables and even the ones that do you don't really want to put your baby directly on it. It's just unsanitary. It's kind of nasty. I don't know how often they're wiped down. This one is such good quality. It's really nice because you can just wipe this down with a wipe. You know if you get poop or pee on it or whatever it's easy to clean. It folds up really nicely. Right Blake? Then it comes with this little pouch that you can really just use for anything. I use this for whatever little things that I might have or you know if I'm switching from like my purse to just this, I'll put like my keys and my cards and stuff in here. Another thing you wanna always have, this is a little bag that, it's a really lightweight bag that you use for, Blakey Blake, what's wrong? It's a little bag that you use for like dirty clothes. Well, I guess you can use it for anything. I personally use it for dirty clothes. Okay, baby, I'm coming. He just likes being picked up and held, having attention. But yeah, so that thin little bag you use for like dirty clothes is really good for that because you know, you don't want to just be throwing dirty baby clothes inside of a bag. It will have like poop on it, pee, whatever, throw up. You know, you don't want to get everything else in your bag. 
stinky. So some of the most important and obvious things that you want to have are diapers. Always have at least five diapers in the bag because I just feel like, you know, that's safe. You change your baby's diapers every so often. Five diapers could get you, you know, pretty far in the day. I normally just pack a full container of wipes or one that's just half full just because I don't like taking like a few wipes because you really never know what you may need the wipes for. You can use baby wipes for anything besides just wiping a baby's butt. You can use it just for yourself or when you're out wiping something down. You can use it to you can use it for so many things when you're out so I feel like having wipes like that's one thing that I just want to always have with me. I always pack at least two bibs and two burp cloths just because you know babies spit up a lot. You just always want to have some bibs and some burp cloths. It's just for the best. What you also want to always have in your diaper bag are at least two changes of clothes. Always have at least two outfits, one one piece outfit and then um, the second outfit I always have like a little multi piece. Where are you trying to go? I always have like a little multi set outfit so for example this would be considered like a little one piece outfit it's like footy so it's like the full thing zips right up it's quick and easy to put on they can wear it anywhere it's comfortable and then I'll have a full outfit of like an undershirt always a short sleeve shirt and then an outer shirt which would be the long sleeve shirt pants a hat you never know when it, you know, it might be chilly. You might need to put a hat on them. Socks. I'll do one or two pairs of socks just because you can lose these socks so easily. They're so small. And then a set of mittens I always have in the bag. The first time around, I didn't take this seriously, but you always want to have a change of clothes with you because you never know. I remember one specific time I was pregnant with Blake and we were on vacation and we had like, a really long day of traveling we were at the airport and I made the mistake of leaving basically like everything in my suitcase that ended up getting checked so I didn't have it with me on the plane we get on the first plane and Charlie just poops all throughout his clothes it was so disgusting it smelled gross and I didn't really know what to do because I was like, okay, we're on this little plane with all these people. We're also on a really small plane too. So I was like, we're on this little plane with all these people. I don't, don't really want to change him out of this right now because then you'll definitely be able to smell it. So I was kind of like, I'm just going to mask it up in this blanket and just change him when we get off of the plane because it was like a short plane ride too. So I changed him out of his clothes, not even thinking about the fact that I didn't have anything packed for him. I changed him out of his clothes. I had to just throw his whole outfit away. It was soaked in poop. And I realized I had diapers for him. Like I had diapers and wipes, but I didn't have a change of clothes. So I was just like, oh my God, what am I going to do? He had pooped. He had pooped. Um, through his blanket as well that like I was covering him up in and we had like a we still have a really long day of traveling left so we had to wrap him up in like I think it was Taylor's shirt or his jacket or something crazy but yeah so I learned my lesson and you just never know and stuff like that didn't happen to me often so like I didn't really think it was the biggest deal when I realized that I didn't have a change of clothes until I needed that change of clothes and it's like of course stuff like that always happens when like the one time that you don't do what you're supposed to do is when you needed to do it but it's like every other time i did it i didn't even really need to do it you know how life is and i always have one muslin blanket these blankets are just good for anything because they're really lightweight um you can just use it for a million things it's a huge blanket it's especially good for like breastfeeding mothers like me you just use this you don't really need anything fancy to like cover up you can just use this to cover up in public when you're feeding you can use it to swaddle them in you can even it's soft enough you can use it as like a little bird cloth if they spit up you can use it to wipe their face you can use it to keep them warm you can use it to keep the sun out of their face without them getting too hot under the blanket because it is breathable so yeah these blankets are just endless they're really compact so i just have those rolled up and always in a bag i always pack two receiving blankets in my diaper bag because i mean 
these are a little more not thick they're less breathable okay. but you can use those for like a burp cloth too you know if they get cold it's really good for that um you can just use that for anything so i really like always having those blankets with me they always come in handy for anything Something else I always have packed in my bag is a little pacifier. My babies don't use pacifiers, but I just always have it in there just in case, you know, I don't know, just just in case one day he decides that he'll take it to just shut him up <laughs> for a little bit. One thing that I feel like is not as popular of a thing that people keep in their diaper bags are just a little pack of baby drafts. Um, this is like a baby laundry detergent. <laughs> I always have it with me just in case, you know, I get stuck somewhere or whatever the case could be. I don't know. And I can wash his clothes and get them clean. It just makes me feel better having it in there. You just never know. It could come in handy one day. I've never actually had to use it, but it could come in handy. I also always carry these little mini packs of baby wash and baby lotion. You never know when you might need to give them a bath somewhere they might be stinky you might just you might just need to give them a bath one thing that i actually don't have in my diaper bag right now that i need little containers of dish soap so the reason that i always have that with me is just whenever i may need to wash bottles I like honestly keep anything I may possibly need for my baby in my diaper bag just to make it easier and to just never be in a situation where I'm just like shoot like I you know I need this but in case I'm ever somewhere longer than I thought I would be and you know I need to refill his bottle or whatever I can just wash that right out and it is like slightly different for breastfeeding and formula fed babies because I mean for one of course when you're formula feeding you need to bring the formula I keep these little um and I actually I don't give Blake formula yet but I keep these in a bag just in case for whatever reason I may just need to give him formula if it's an emergency I just can't feed him whatever it may be I always keep this in there just in case so they can always have a feeding then I have kind of like a little emergency kit that I keep in there this is a little baby thermometer in case I ever need to take his temperature I have a little nose plunger thing in case he ever has, you know, some boogers that are making it a little harder for him to breathe. And I might be like, okay, we need to just get these out now, let you be more comfortable. I have a little nail filer, a little baby nail filer, you know, just in case his, I realize that his nails are just really long. And I'm just like, okay, let me just do this really quick. And then I also keep this Breathe Frida stuff that I love. Um... I just like this stuff. It's like a vapor rub basically for babies. I like to just have with me, you know, just in case they have like a little cold and they need just some help being able to breathe. Their nostrils are just so small. So, you know, if any sort of stuffiness, they could just use all the help that they get. And that stuff is just really great for that, especially when they're this young. This is really for breastfeeding moms. Breast pads are really great to have because you may be out and you may start to leak or, you know, you may need to change the breast pads that you have already. Hey. I also always keep either Vaseline and or baby Aquaphor with me just in case they have a little rash or even if they just have some dry lips, you could just put some Vaseline or some baby Aquaphor on there and that always clears it right up. Even for yourself, I use either one of those. You know, if I don't have like chapstick or whatever, I can use Vaseline or baby aquaphor put it on my lips and I'll be fantastic. This is kind of unnecessary but I always have like a little toy rattle or something in there for, for them. Honestly like they don't really play with toys now. Just when we're out and I want to kind of entertain them or just have something for them to look at so something small. I'm not really giving Blake bottles quite yet so I normally don't have this with me but this can fit inside of the bag or can even just clip on the outside of the bag which is actually normally what I do because I usually have so much stuff in my bag but this is just like an insulated bag for um, any bottles that you might have that are like frozen or that are refrigerated you just put an ice pack in it it can fit like quite a few bottles so this is good to have too for when you're going somewhere and you're taking bottles with you this is a Tommy Tippy portable bottle warmer. This is the only thing I've ever used that really will keep water like hot, <laughs> like 
hot all day, 24 hours straight. You boil some water while you're at home. You fill this part with the boiled water. You put the top back on. You make sure it's closed because you don't want boiling water to spill on you. Um, and then you just keep it stored like this when you need to warm up a baby bottle and you don't have access to when you don't have access to like super warm water to heat up a baby bottle you just pour the boiling water that you had into here and you put the bottle on top of the water like floating on the water or whatever and it'll warm your bottle right up it's the best way to warm a bottle up but it is just so much easier to just feed straight from the boob so I don't even really pump anymore it's also just such a hassle carrying bottles around and carrying the bottle warmer and all this stuff and guys just so you know Taylor we just got home so he's really noisy in the background and I want to just finish this video so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna be happy with that actually I'm gonna tell him to go he has a whole room hey Tay Taylor yes. can you go in the room oh yeah Um, another thing that I always keep in my diaper bag are these little baggies. They're kind of like dog bags, but you can also use them for diapers too. They're by Arm & Hammer. But these are just good to have because diapers can be very smelly and this will, you know, you just throw the dirty diaper in the bag. You don't have to worry about it smelling like poop wherever you are or, you know, just making other people uncomfortable having to smell poop. So these are really great to have. So that is pretty much everything that I keep in my diaper bag. Another thing that I did want to show you guys though, this is like a mini diaper bag caddy, I guess, that you can use to put in your purse. So at this point, a lot of times I just don't always bring a diaper bag with me if it's just going to be too much with an extra bag and I just know I'm really going to be somewhere for a really short amount of time I use my purse and I carry really big purses so honestly I don't have to use a diaper bag every time I go out a lot of times at this point I use my purse because it's so big and I have this so this is really cute and it fits in all of my bags um right here this is like a little changing mat it's a really nice one that you can just you know wipe clean whenever it has a whole bunch of different compartments so i have like diapers in here and i can fit everything i need for charlie and blake which is really nice and this is actually the mini version so this you know is really just a really compact way to have all of your baby stuff organized in your purse so yeah that is everything thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe if you guys have any suggestions of videos that i can do or questions about anything that I talked about today, let me know, comment, message me on Instagram. Looks gonna kill, light blue teal, heart can't feel loves rock and roll.